Well, we're off on our first trip as a married couple. Okay. And it's foggy outside. So, yeah, this is a great way to start our trip. He has food. I am ready for a long 11 hour drive. Yes, I feel like a fat kid. But it's okay. We're ready to Texas. We go from ATL to Dallas. Ready, baby? Fuck yeah. 11 hours and 12 minutes. We'll get there at 11 10. It is 12 58. Let's go. Let's go. So, y'all. We got six hours and six minutes as well. And it's foggy. I took a nice little nap and made me a sandwich. They pulled over and took a nap. Yep. But we're on our way. Halfway. Now we're driving over this bridge of water, which is not fun for me and my So this is what me and Elijah yeah. ordered from In and Out Burger. To me, it just Yay. tastes like a regular burger. burger. But this but is our hotel. Y'all see how it looks. Y'all see where we rocking at. It is beautiful. It was very nice. I love the chandeliers, the touches to the colors of the lights in the ceiling. I feel like it was just giving luxury and where we needed to be. And this is our room. Um, we got a king size. We were staying at the Wyndham in North Dallas. And as y'all can see, everything was given luxury, giving king and queen. Like, yeah, I liked it. Um, the room itself, I felt like was amazing. I like the accents. Now, the ceilings were really short. <laughs> like, ew, I could touch the ceiling. And then I feel like the bathroom was really small. Um, but overall, I like the hotel. You see me, you see the ass was assing, the ass was assing. You see it, you see it, yeah. But anyways, that was just me. So, we're getting our nap in. Well, we got our nap in. And we're leaving our hotel to go get us some barbecue for the first day. Um, I forgot which place we're going to, but I'm going to show y'all. And it's been amazing so far. I got a chance to take a nice little nap because I live on our drive. It was killing me. But we on the way to go get our barbecue. That's our dinner for today. And then we're going to chill out because today is a rest day. How you like the hotel, babe? I like it. It's it's it looks kind of messed up on the outside, but when you get inside, oh yeah, it's it's nice. And then yeah, that trip was tiring, so we take in a little break, go get some food, some barbecue, um, some barbecue because that's what he wanted. Originally he wanted carabas, but now he wants barbecue, so that's what we're gonna get. So let me show y'all. We are now at Hutchison's Barbecue. It's the barbecue factory. And y'all see that line? Yeah, we gotta lay in line. But I know it better be worth it because this is a line outside. I ain't never seen a bar line outside for no barbecue. The original Roy Hutchinson's barbecue made in Texas in 1978. So yeah, let's see how this goes. Thank you. 
Risky it. Barbecue sauce? Oh, like, Okay, y'all, we just finished dinner at Hutchinson's. I feel stuffed. Yeah, I'm I'm done. Like I <laughs> I'm when when we get back to this hotel, we're going straight to sleep. We spent forty three dollars and it was more than enough. I think that was one of the most amazing barbecue experiences I've ever had. Ever. We had <clears throat> smoked brisket we had a half a pound of smoked brisket <clears throat> i have a one smoked sausage the original kind we had macaroni and then loaded mashed potatoes two drinks and two peach cobblers two peach cobblers and if you dine in your peach cobbler and banana pudding or your ice cream come with the meal go, Ten out of all the way <laughs> go to this restaurant Go to Hutchins. Go to this restaurant. I'm telling you, if you're in Texas, go to the fucking restaurant. That's it. I actually want to come back here for another night before we leave. Because at this point, I don't think there was nothing beating it. I want that. Jim and Nick's isn't beating it. Nothing that we have in Atlanta is beating Texas. It's giving move down to Texas. I don't want to go home. Because the food so much better down here. And the hospitality. The hospitality was, I think that was what made the restaurant really pop. It felt like family friendly, everything. We still in the parking lot, y'all. Like, I'm not so full. I don't even put my jacket on. Like, the atmosphere was nice. The aesthetics was pleasing. Like, just overall, it was a good vibe. And we was able to sit outside and see the sunset. That was the best part of my night. On the first day, on the first day of our honeymoon, in Dallas, Texas, in the Fort Worth area. I mean, yeah, the drive we had to drive a little bit, but that was fine. The lo the wait wasn't that long. Yeah, we stood in a little line, but the little line moved pretty fast. It was worth it. I'm yeah. gonna say ten out of ten. It was worth it. Go check it out. Hey y'all! As you can see, we going to bed. It's our hell. Food got us full, and it's the end of the day today. I can't wait to see what Texas has in store for us tomorrow. I'm excited. Hell yeah, it's, it's been lit so far. It's been a great experience in Texas so far. So we just gonna chill for the rest of the night, and I'm gonna watch Zeus. So y'all know, if y'all not waking up, doing y'all well, shower, well, getting y'all face done, brushing your teeth, brush using you third Whatever breath, is, you ain't starting the right. day off right. Because if you ain't tomorrow. using that, something wrong. But we had to get our day together, just get on the move. You know, your girl had to look fly going out on her first day in Dallas.
So I do gotta do my hair. Don't pay no attention to this. But you feel me? The ass is acid. Acid. And then I'm gonna get some full body pictures, but y'all already know what it is. We're gonna go have our day, second day in Dallas, and then this is the scent of the day. Mind you, your girl looking good. She looking good. Yeah. The first place we stopped Monday was Starbucks to get our breakfast and get our coffee before we went and got active. So this is just our little meal that we did and what we got when we went to Starbucks to start our day off. And it was feeling real good. So quickly, this is just some of the little activities we did. I sped them up because these were some long activate. activities. Let's go but get some we had some real done. good fun at Activate. I would recommend anybody that has an Activate in their city to go try it out. This is me. I have to run in my wig trying to put back, so I gotta go fix that. Tired as hell. Hot and tired as fuck. We good. We done. 10 out of 10 recommend. Y'all come in here and burn some calories, because that's what the fuck we just did. So, it was hot. I had to go change. The girl got on the skirt now. Because it's hot as hell. Yeah, it's hot as fuck. I should probably, you know, pack a different shirt, but. I didn't think it was gonna be this hot. So, we're back out. Headed to Galleria of Dallas. Mm -hmm. Galleria of Dallas. Just a little bit called. of the Gallery of and Dallas. Yeah, fit check, I just want to see how pretty it is. Big girls put it on too. Stop playing with me. So y'all, we left the mall and now we're at the hair depot. I've seen so many things about this and everybody's saying, look, so, so you this gotta is go the, the inside hair of the biggest hair, hair depot store in Dallas, Texas. As y'all can see, they got so everything. So we made it to the right hair on. depot. Ordinary Let's see what they talking store. about. Let's see what they got Then we on. took our butts over to the daiquiri den. And when I say the food was bussing, the food was bussing, bussing, and it was good. They had the fried ribs. Then we went downtown and went to the AT&T district and did a little walking, a little picture taking, a little video making. You already know. Not like that. Stop playing. Um, and then we went down to Clyde Warren Park. It was so Every pretty, district. so beautiful there. And that's where we ended our night off at. We're finally back from a long, long day and a lot of walking. Spot tomorrow, and this wig gonna be off because I'm going to the center. Don't be talking about my wig when it's off because my hair starts burning my hair down and I'm wearing that and put it back on tomorrow because y'all already know if you know, you know it's gonna sweat out. So, this is gonna be off and that is the end of day two. Check back in with me tomorrow. So, good morning, y'all. Um, I just woke up. It's a relaxed day. It's spa day. I'm going to go take care of this breath and this face and take a shower and everything. And I'll see y'all when I go down the So, y'all, we started with breakfast in the hotel. Yeah, then we went to Spa breakfast. Castle, which is the spa we spent the day at. Um, you have to go in and it's nude, but the rest of it is bathing suits or their uniforms only. Um, this is just mostly all of our pool experiences, how everything went. There was a lot of hot tubs, different temperatures, different saunas, different food places. Um, 
basically everything you can need at a spa except the massages that's a different price but all of the things that i'm showing you is included in the admission price for 50 dollars during the week and 60 dollars on the weekend um the food was separate but all the pools the saunas um the jets the hot tubs all of that is included they all had aqua jets um and the pools outside the indoors had some jets too there's more pools outside than it is inside but we did try each and every spot of the pools and we loved it we enjoyed our day we're leaving the spa castle now it is what time is it it is 3 13. we got here at 10 o'clock so it was an amazing experience i will be back i won't wear a wig down here no more it's gonna be braids only because i had to take my wig off to come here but i loved it listen fellas um it's gonna be a new experience for y'all i'm pretty sure you've never bathed with other men before but just grow some balls get over it you'll be fine yeah so when you first go in you go to the locker room you put your shoes in um there's no recording in the locker room and then you put your clothes up they give you a uniform um you have to take a shower before you can get into any of the pools it's nude only so that is something to think about and look forward to it's nude only for the showers and the pools in the locker room no recording in the locker rooms but once you get outside you wear your bathing suit on the first floor and uniforms on the second floor and third floor and it is worth it it's worth the 50 dollars. come during the week y'all would love it 10 out of 10 this is pulling me towards dallas this is this is my spot i love it and also when we I can't left, say anything we bad about it the prices aren't bears. bad um, it, was actually it has a adult alcohol and treat and, and this place was beautiful so we were able to meet the owner if you all saw bougie boozy bears on tiktok this is the place this is the location it's located outside of dallas texas that's the owner and they had all types of different treats all types of tasty little snacks and each one of the bags of the gummies were three drinks some of the smaller ones were like one drink um, it was just a very great experience to be able to meet her and be able to get some treats from her. After that, we left and went to Fang Cha, which is my favorite boba spot. And we was able to get some boba. We go there every, like, at least once a week, maybe twice or three times a week in Georgia. And we were able to get our boba while we were there. And I was so happy for that. I am a popping boba girlie through and through. They made sure I was happy. The husband's job. He got taro milk. Tea. We oh, yeah, also stopped and went and got some smash got burgers while we were downtown. With the mango he wanted to drive to go over the bridge. I don't know what's the name of the bridge, but we did go over the bridge. And that was one of his favorite parts of the trip. We had to go down there and drive over it before we ended our night that day. Whoop, I lied. We went back out. And now I'm in the bed. And now I'm finna go to sleep. So that was the end of day three. Bye, y'all. So, y'all, back outside today. This is day four. And today we're going to look at houses. Um, I skipped all my morning routine and all that other stuff. Because it's like, y'all already know what I'm going to do. But we're so going to start we're looking at houses and looking at where we're going to be houses. at if we move here. These are smashed so, that's what day four consists of. They are so delicious and this is like a good breakfast or a good lunch spot 
um for something sweet then we went to go see the first house this house was still under renovations it was in um west dallas it was a little far out for us um and it was in a older neighborhood but like up and coming houses getting built if that makes sense um but it was nice it was three stories i want to say um it had different levels i believe this one was a three bedroom or it was a four bedroom i think it was a three bedroom though this was in between the 300 400 thousand range um for the first house we looked at but it was really nice um i didn't care for the neighborhood that we was in but this is the type of style that we were looking for for our house that we want um we like the contemporary styles um it also had a green grass roof so i thought that was very nice then we headed over to our second home that we looked at this was a 1.5 million dollar house which when i was looking i did not see that price tag so please don't blame me but this was like five bedrooms four baths or four bedroom five baths or something like that it was a lot too much for us for what we're planning on doing with our lives but i did like the style of the house and the spaciousness so this is what we're looking for for our home when we do move to dallas because i think we're set on dallas um but it did have all bathrooms for each bedroom it had a backyard which we also liked about it um everything was just so nice and put together this was a good showing for us and to give us the idea of what type of house we were looking for when we moved in one thing i do love though is the master bath that is my favorite part because i am a bath girly so i loved everything about this house i just wish it was a little smaller and um just more in my price range so this is the type of houses we're going to be looking for in dallas but more in our price range then after that later on that night we headed out to the beehive and got us a little dinner downtown which we felt like was a good spot all the food was good and i love day three Hey y'all, so it's the end of day three. We just finished leaving dinner at the Beehive and I'm gonna get some rest. Tomorrow is gonna be a chill day. We going to breakfast and we going to the movies and that's how we gonna end our trip off. Um, Yeah, pretty much we've been having a great time and amazing time and we just chilling tonight and we gonna take a little rest. And relax and then go into day four good morning y'all it's day four in dallas and as y'all can see it's raining we're going to honeyberry pancake and cafe for breakfast just a little chill day nice little slight outfit you feel me slight slight you know Keep putting the GPS in, not paying attention. Starting route to Honey Berry Pancakes but, and Cafe. Bad, had, had to get us where we're going, you know what I'm saying? Proceed to Lincoln B. Johnson day, Freeway, Frontage Road, then turn right. Let's go. Okay, let's do it. ended up finished eating and now we're at a super target that bitch go for miles so yeah let's let's walk around super target today because we ain't got shit else to do until later my husband and his natural element he went straight to the playstation shit Y'all don't mind me, I'm just a nerd at heart. Plus, 
Plus, I get paid. I'm gonna get paid to do this. So, absolutely. Target's buying on us. Because we had this shit before they really cool. Oh, okay. I like the one we got. Look, y'all, hold on. Look at what Texas has done to me, man. I spent, we spent four days here, and I'm already looking at shit to buy for a house that I don't even live in. What the fuck? We did good. This is all we got to pay for. Dwayne, I got a great job today. Not that much. We are now leaving the Super, Super Target. And on our way to Five Below. So now we have made it to the Five Below. So let's see how much we spend today. Easy. Take it easy. Yeah. Let's just have fun. We did $19 today at Five Below. So we ended up spending $20. Yep, well, 19, bucks, whatever. But we wasn't supposed to go in there and spend nothing. Nah. But I found my popping boba. And we had to get a snack for the road on the way back. So I feel like we did good. Candy and I got a little fidget thing for therapy and other shit. So I feel like we did good. Now we're going into Burlington just to walk around. We not buying nothing. We say we're. And for Burlington, we literally walked in the store and he turned back around. Yep. I like it. Plus, so I got tired of walking. My fat ass is like, look, I'm trying to go back to the hotel. Fuck that. So, we're going to go back to the hotel and rest until time for the movie. So, y'all, we've made it to Strike and Real. It's our last night in Dallas. And it has bowling, food, movies. And arcade, all kinds of shit. Man. And it's hella big. Okay. So let's get inside here. We supposed to be coming to see Kung Fu Panda tonight. So let's go ahead and get in here. So y'all, this is the arcade. They got a rock climbing wall and all other types of stuff too. The ropes, all type of arcade games. But we ain't come here for the arcade. And then y'all, that's the bowling alley, as y'all can see. They got all types of movies and everything else you could want. That's the movie theater. Some more arcade games right there. They even have a bar, if you can tell. That's the bar over there. So we're walking into the movies. They have eight theaters. They even got shakes. So this is the theaters to see and the food that we ate at Strike and Real. Dallas, it's been real. It's been fun. I love the experience. Thank you for having us. Y'all, thank you for watching. We're back in Georgia and that's it.